Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Mugs and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at the Microsoft PC Manager software and also how to install it if you're having difficulties because it is somewhat restricted in some regions, especially here in the UK. So, if you're having problems installing it, this video is going to be right up your street. So, we'll cover that first of all, and then we'll take a look at some of the features in PC Manager and see how useful it can be for you on your PC. So, let's head over to the computer and we'll take a look. Okay, so this is our Windows 11 PC, and currently we don't have PC Manager installed. Normally, you'd go to the Microsoft Store, type in Microsoft PC Manager, and it should normally appear in here. If it doesn't, then there is a pretty easy workaround. Just close down the store, head over into your control panel, and type in region, or just look for your regional settings. And all you want to do is to change your country or region from United Kingdom to somewhere where it's actually available readily. So we'll choose the United States. We can then minimize that because we want to change that back a little bit later on. So now we can open up the store, type in the same thing again, and there we go. Microsoft PC Manager magically appears. So this is currently free. So let's go ahead and get this piece of software. So that's going to be currently installed in. User account control will pop up. So just click on yes to allow it to install. And just be patient while it does its thing. And once it's finished, you can either click on open here or it will end up actually in your list of new programs. So let's go ahead and fire up PC Manager. So this is the interface. It will normally live here down by the taskbar. And also if you click down here, you'll see it's actually running as a task. So there's various options you've got here. So in the home page, you can choose various things. One of the uh, things I like is the boost feature. So click on boost and it will basically clear down your memory usage. I'm not really using a great deal at the moment because I've just turned the PC on, so it hasn't done a great deal, but it's also going to get rid of some of your temporary files as well. So you've also got things like your health check, processes, a deep cleanup, and also you can adjust your startups. Also, we've got the protection tab. This is actually really handy. So if you're a little bit unsure, maybe you think you've downloaded something you shouldn't have, or potentially you think you might have a virus on your machine, then you just go ahead and click on the scan button and then it will start doing a scan of your system as you can see here. This is a pretty fresh installation so it shouldn't find anything untoward. So we'll just let it carry on and do its thing until it's finished. So that's done and we've got a clean system so that is excellent news. Also we've got options for Windows Update so you can see if there's any Windows updates available and you can check here. So this is rather than just going into the control panel as you would normally or your settings. You can if you want to go back and it will carry on doing its thing just do it in the background this is actually a very cool thing as well so actually how to change your default browser so if perhaps you're getting a little bit tired of using edge or whatever you can just go in here and choose to change your browser depending on which ones you've got installed you can choose whichever you want to we're on google chrome so let's uh, confirm that that is what we like also you've got things like your taskbar repair you can also restore default apps so if perhaps you're having problems with Office documents or web pages or PDFs or whatever it is, then you can choose that option there. That's uh, pretty useful. And also you've got pop-up management, so you can enable pop-up block in applications. So might as well turn that on. And also you can choose which ones are actually blocked. So yeah, that's pretty good as well. We like that. So that is pretty much it for the system protection side. If we go into storage, you can do a deep cleanup if you want to. I won't do that now because it does take a little while. Also, you can choose to clean up your downloaded files, large files, and duplicate files. And also, you can enable storage sense from here. So if we do a deep cleanup, click on scan, it'll go through. As you'd expect, it'll go through and it'll give you options of which ones you want to actually remove. And it'll give you some defaults there. Application cache, recycle bin, web cache, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to go ahead and do that, you can do. Very clean, very simple. Also in the app section, you can choose to see what processes are actually running on your system and your startup apps. You can choose which ones run in the background. Turn those on or off, toggle them should you need to. And also you can go to the Windows Store if you particularly want to. Also there's a toolbox which you can actually run as a little widget which can do quick things like screenshots, take you straight to your screenshot folder the voice recorder, turn on closed captions, quick access to notepad, quick access to your calculator, and also you've got options to go into web tools, so Edge Quick Links, the Bing Translator, 
and also a currency converter. So for those of you who are trying to bag bargains on places like AliExpress, then maybe currency converter would be quite useful for you. Also, you can add some customized links to the toolbox should you wish to. So that's pretty much it for the toolbox. In Restore, you can check to see if your PC is running all the recommended settings. You've also got settings, so you can turn Smart Boost on, Shortcuts, and Start PC Manager automatically when I sign into Windows. That is currently off. You can choose to have that on if you wish. Also, your languages. And last of all, at the bottom, there's a feedback section. So if you've got any problems with this application, you can report them to Microsoft and hopefully they'll fix them. But overall, I think this is a really nice little tool, especially things like the memory boost and also the deep cleanup, all that kind of stuff. Very useful stuff indeed. So there you go. For people that used to like using things like CCleaner, which was a really good app back in the day, but had uh, some weird stuff going on with it. So probably best left well alone. And there's obviously other things you can download on the internet for attempting to clean up your PC. Although with those, I do tend to find them a little bit hit and miss. And being that this one is actually created by Microsoft, in theory, it should be completely trustworthy. But anyway, let me know what you think about this one in that comment section below. Hopefully this video has been useful too. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe you could consider hitting that subscribe button and the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.